Afterwards, protesters take their demonstration at the Idaho State House up a notch, ending in more arrests and one charge of misdemeanor battery. Mike Sharp was there and has the story inside the State House. The folks back here, they would like to be seen by the lawmakers. They're trying. That's as close as they can get. At the words, protesters stepped up their demonstrations at the Idaho State House on Thursday, blocking the entryways to the Senate chamber and gallery, keeping anyone from coming in, from the general public to lobbyists to reporters. These folks, just like you, are trying to be seen by the lawmakers. They're trying to get in a place where the lawmakers can't hide and can't look away and can't pretend we don't exist. But on Thursday, senators tell me they saw little effect in the protest. Their jobs were largely uninterrupted by the demonstration and work continued behind the line blocking the public. Despite that, former Senator Nicola Favor says the protest will continue until their bill is heard. Lawmakers keep blocking people out of the process, ignoring people who want to speak, not holding hearings on an issue that for eight years thousands of people would like to testify on but they won't even hear their stories. While most of the arrests were for trespassing, like the protest earlier this session, there was also one charge of misdemeanor battery. Idaho State Police say one protester in a back stairwell pushed a legislative employee. But LaFaber says the pushing was from the other side. They the blocked system. us from going in. They were pushing and, yeah. LaFaber says the demonstrations are working and they're causing the public to be more aware and ask questions of lawmakers. They need to understand that they can't just pretend this issue is going to go away. Mike Sharp, Today 6 on your side.